it is one of the worst list I have ever seen in my life. Toughest place to play in college football, according to EA Sports. Kyle Field, Texas A&M. Brown, am I, do I misremember this? Haven't they lost since they joined the SEC a number of big games? The, I know they beat Alabama once. That's yeah, but that, the was in, only, that was in Tuscaloosa. I, I know no, they beat them there, yeah, yeah, what, three years ago? Yeah. yeah, that's the only big game that immediately comes to mind that they won there. Like, they lost the return game, Johnny Manziel game. That yep. was a big one for them. Uh, there was a time Auburn, Auburn beat them a couple times. There. Yeah. there was a big game for both of them there. Uh, I'm just telling you that – Kyle Field is a big stadium. It's a beautiful stadium. Male cheerleaders. Um, it is. It is. It's a beautiful stadium, and it's big. It's a lot of people. It sways. Uh, yeah, the press it, box it, sways. It, it, it looks like it would be a difficult place to play. Again, I haven't been there on television, but the results aren't there. Nope. That's right. So not number one. Number two. Nobody loves Alabama on this show more than I do. We call you Jimmy Bama. Uh, Brian Denny Stadium is a beautiful stadium. Uh-huh. It is updated, much like LT's house. It has been modernized. It is a perfect. Yeah, my, my house ain't. It ain't Brian Denny. It is a perfect college football stadium. Maybe more at uh, the, the Camp Randall of the world. The, the, it's hard to judge Brian Denny Stadium's home field advantage, toughest places to play, because the team's been so dang good. Right? Uh, like Alabama could have played at Rickwood Field and they're going to win most of those oh, games, yeah. right? We, yeah. They win games on the road, Brent. I know. They, I won, know. they won almost as many on the road as they well, have at and, home. And sometimes when you win like that, you lull your fans to sleep. That's right. And, yeah. you know, I've heard Georgia's crowds, you know, I haven't been to Athens in a few years, but I've heard their crowds, they kind of sit on their hands they, now. They did. They, they yeah. got pegged with the same thing Alabama fans got pegged with. So we've always judged, at least I think this for 15 years, our show has judged. How much better do you make a team with your home field advantage? And I've always thought playing in Baton Rouge, especially at night, makes LSU a little bit better. No matter how good LSU is, a little bit better. Auburn, to me, at 14th is insane (laughs) because you just look at last year. Just last year, they battled Georgia, who is probably the most talented team in the country, deep into the fourth quarter before Georgia won that game. And Alabama, who made the college football playoffs and beat Georgia, won the SEC championship, had to have a miracle fourth and 31 to win at Jordan-Hare. And that was a very average Auburn team. That's home field advantage Well, I don't know why, like, if you're going to do this kind of a a deep dive and you're going to put this list out, why would you not put some stats with it? Like, I think if they really would have, like, gone back the last 10 years versus ranked teams – there is no way Auburn would not be in the top five. I personally, and you know, we're kind of biased because we're around it. It seems like the most difficult place to play in all of college football. But nobody, like I've seen all these lists, but nobody puts anything behind it. And I would say it would be a lot of work to uh, legwork to do that. But we see things on, you know, this is the first cycle somebody's hit in the third inning since 1899. Yeah, I mean, yeah, these somebody's these got stats. the stats somewhere. Yeah. Is your point? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to me, I've always thought Otson was. I mean, it's eleven. I think that's great. Neyland Stadium, 13. Now, when they've been bad, it's not great. Oh, but when boy, it's good. they're good. I, I think Neyland, you know, two years ago, Neyland was, it was in the top five. Last year probably took a step back when they, you know, took steps back win-wise. But I, I fully expect over the next couple of years, Neyland's going to be one of the most difficult places to play. Rice Eccles at Utah is 18. I've always thought that was a tough oh, place yeah. to play. Uh, it's small, but when Michigan State is good, I, I think Michigan State at home, Spartan Stadium makes them better. Than there, um, I, I don't know. I just I you think know what's embarrassing. I think it's a horrible list. Is where Michigan is, yeah, where, that, that, where Nebraska isn't. I yeah. mean, it's 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 kind of sad. Some of those uh, really used to be. Remember how good the Orange Bowl was for a, oh again, my gosh, yeah. I think Miami lot, was so good. I think a lot. Of, yeah, it does yeah. go back to Miami had nothing but five stars out there, right. and the crowd was probably twenty five thousand, and they were drunk and they were wild. But it seemed like, <laughs> I mean, hell, they didn't lose there. I'm trying to find the stat. I think I saw yesterday since joining the SEC, and I'm would this add up forty five games, twenty five and twenty A and M is at home, so they joined in twenty twelve. You get four home games a year. So that's 40. That's about right. Yeah. yeah. So 25 and, and they 20 play and that. Home. Don't forget they play that neutral site game, so they lose a home game Against every Arkansas. other year to Arkansas. Yeah. They're basically that's a 500 right. team at home. If I saw the number right, I think 25 and 20 at home in SEC games. That's in SEC games. Yeah. And, but, but they have not been a horrible team. You know what I mean? Not Like horrible. Auburn has had some yeah. shoo. Yeah. So it's going to impact their stats. They've right. been good. They've been bad, good and bad. But just go back to last year. You go into Auburn and you're Georgia and Alabama, two of the best teams in the country. Two of the best rosters in the country. I think they were the two best rosters by recruiting people in the country last year. 
they went in there and they had to fight to get out with two dubs. That's home field advantage. I, I, I go to the Iron Bowl every year. I haven't missed Iron Bowl in quite a while. Well, I missed the COVID Iron Bowl, but other than that, I haven't missed one in quite a while. Yeah. Before that, it was the Brody sack. Yeah. That was the last one I missed. Yep. And I did that because Ohio State, Michigan. So take away my uh, state of Alabama citizenship, if you like. Um, I have seen many Iron Bowls in Auburn where Alabama is obviously the better team and the greatest coach that has ever done it is on their sideline. And those teams have been shook by the crowd. I've seen it many times. Not just like, oh, I can point to that one game. I'm like, almost every time they go down there. Probably every time they go down there. Now, sometimes they're just so much better than Auburn that they're able to overcome that and pull away. But I have seen time and time again with the greatest coach that has ever done it, Alabama gets shook on the sidelines at Jordan-Hare. I mean, I don't know what more I could say about a stadium than yeah, that Yeah, did right Auburn not wear Georgia out the year that Georgia got the revenge yep. in the SEC it championship was, game? That was, we kicked the dog crap out of them. That's what Gus yeah. said at, at yeah. midfield, remember? I mean, that was, was right. that was an ass whipping, and yeah. that was a really good Georgia team. The running back ran it down their throat that ended up uh, yeah, getting, getting hurt. hurt. Tyrion Johnson, yeah. yeah. Before the uh, championship game.